Hi Lionel, great to see you. How was class today? I'm having a hard time figuring out the different types of differential reinforcement. They all sound so much alike. It's confusing me. I know how you feel dude. When I first started learning about them, it made no sense, but now I'm cool with it. What is differential reinforcement of LR8? It's when you want a behavior to occur less frequently. For example, after that swine flu epidemic, I had a problem with washing my hands almost constantly. Yes, I know what you mean. I walk by those hand sanitizing the dispensers and I can't resist. So my psychologist told me that if I could go 15 minutes without washing my hands, that I could have a piece of candy after I washed them. If I washed them before 15 minutes was up then I had to start the time over. Eventually the time was increased to 60 minutes and now I'm only washing my hands only once every hour instead of every 5 minutes. Oh, so is that an example of differential reinforcement of LRA or differential reinforcement of other behavior? They are very similar, except that with differential reinforcement of a low rate, you reinforce a behavior if it occurs after the specified period of time. With differential reinforcement of other behavior, you never ever reinforce a behavior that you are trying to reduce. So the main difference is whether or not you reinforce the behavior? Correct, with differential reinforcement of a low rate, you still want the behavior to occur, as long as it does not occur too often. With differential reinforcement of other behavior you never want the undesirable behavior to occur, so you reinforce the absence it. Remember Dr. Stowell's example in class about how to get the kids to be quiet on long family drives? Oh yes, basically reinforce them for increasingly longer periods of time when they are not hitting each other. My parents did that when I was kid. You got it man. In fact, another name for differential reinforcement of other behavior is differential reinforcement of zero responding. I think I've got it down. Thanks for your help. You da bomb. Good luck on your test tomorrow. Bye. I'm feeling on top of the world. Wow, Lionel you are lighter than air. What is up? I aced my test yesterday on DRL versus DRO. Now, I'm learning the difference between differential reinforcement of incompatible behavior and differential reinforcement of alternative behavior. I wish I could learn the difference, maybe you can help me. Sure. First, I want to tell you how nice you look on the east side of the road. What? Come over here for a minute. What do you want? Hey. Why won't you talk to me? Maybe I'll go back to the east side of the road. I love your hair today. Lionel, what are you doing? Nothing more than a little differential reinforcement of incompatible behavior. What do you mean? You can't be on the east and west side of the street at the same time, can you? Well, no, but what does that have to do with differential reinforcement? See, when you stand on the east side of the street, I provide reinforcement in the form of compliments. When you stand on the west side of the street, I ignore you. I'm using differential reinforcement of incompatible behavior. I'm reinforcing one behavior that is incompatible with the other. You cannot stand on both sides of the street at the same time. I think I got it. Let me think of another example. I know, I could reinforce you for keeping your eyes open, and ignore you, when your eyes are closed. Before long you will always keep your eyes open. Technically yes, that is DRI, but I have to blink once in a while, or my eyeballs will shrivel up and fall out. One more question, what is differential reinforcement of alternative behavior, otherwise known as DRA? Hey Lionel, you are ignoring me again. When you need to ask a question, please nod your head like this. Okay, let me try asking the question again, with the head not this time. What is DRA? DRA is what I just used to train your behavior of asking questions. I ignored your wild arm antics and reinforced your question only when you did the head nod. Technically it would be possible to do the hand raise and head nod at the same time, like this, so they are not incompatible with each other. DRA is simply reinforcing a behavior that is preferred to a less desirable one, even though they are not incompatible. If they were incompatible, it would be. Wait, do not tell me. It would be differential reinforcement of incompatible behavior. You go girl. There is no stopping your awesomeness. 
You are just saying that, because I am still on the east side of the road. That's right. How about we continue this discussion on Facebook? Sorry, you did not accept my friend invitation. But thanks anyway. See you in class tomorrow. Bye.